Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the geography feature to get some detailed information about countries and how that works when you format it as a table. So first of all, let's just type some countries in column B. So if I go UK, US, Japan, Germany, I'll just do five and then we can add some later on, Spain. So that's the, the countries that I want. If you highlight that list and then go to the data tab and then in this area you've got data types and geography is the one I want. So I click on geography and then it gives you this little symbol and this little menu at the top. If I click on the menu, it allows you to insert this information. For example, birth rate per country. It'll drop that in for the individual countries and I'll just widen that column a bit so pull that a bit wider so we'll go for country as a title here and I put birth there and then what you can keep doing you can keep going back to this and selecting a different option so I'll go for I want unemployment so if I come down um, down this list unemployment rate and then again that's going to give you a list. Now it's not dropped it down like it did initially because I didn't have that list selected but if I pull that down it gives you the unemployment rate in these countries so I'll just call that unemployment. Now obviously this is um, a dynamic list so this changes. Let's pick some other categories so I'll go for fertility rate that one and then that's quite a, an interesting one out that all below two and two is what you need just to sustain the current population so that's not good fertility rate and then let's have a look what else we can get in here so we've got different stuff on there fertility rates forested areas let's have a look at that so i know the uk has got not a great forest area so 13 that's really bad compared to these other countries could put forest and then let's just do a couple more from this list. So you do need to have the actual um, images of the country flag. I'll go for that one. Flag. You do have to have the internet for this to work, obviously. Now what you're seeing me do here, I'm, I'm pulling this down every single time and it's dropping these things in. However, if I format this as a table, that will automatically add at the bottom. But click into there go back to the home tab and format as a table I'll just pick one of these colour options my table has headers that's the worst colour scheme ever go for a different one actually um, green, green is usually quite good ok that looks alright but when I click into this now you see that I don't have that um, category option so if I go for Italy it automatically should drop everything in as soon as I do that so that's a better feature the fact that once you've decided what the categories are that you want to display that's what you can do now if you want to add extra categories you don't go to this bit where we did initially when you format it as a table you can actually add extra categories you just need to go to the the last column and then you get the same list there so what else can I have I'll have Infant mortality, that's an interesting one. That's sad. Just widen that a bit. That's messed up my screen, so I'll just zoom that in down a bit so you can see everybody. So I'll just add a, one more country. Um, who have I got there? Denmark, let's go for Denmark. So that's now added Denmark in, so you can see Denmark's details there. So they're pretty like a little bit like UK in terms of forest cover. None of these have got a really good birth rate. Let's try type in Nigeria. I know Nigeria's got a high birth rate. Five. So they're well well on target for replacing the population. China, who had a one child policy for quite a while. Theirs is similar to the UK's 1.69, so again, we're not replacing ourselves, so something has to be done about this. Infant mortality 75, that's not good either. 
look at the difference in that. So even though they're having quite a high birth rate, fertility, that's the mortality for child. That's terrible. Anyway, that's all I want to talk about in this little video, guys. Getting sidetracked. Basically how you can use the geography feature to pull in information and have it dynamically update when you format it as a table. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.